Good morning. Good morning. I'm Happy Dr. Matt. I'm Dr. Amy. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Apparently it's bad hair Friday <laughs> too because uh, both of us decided to wear hats today. So uh, we're getting rolling here. We have got some awesome information for you guys today. We are going to go through and talk about three things that you guys are going to be able to do to get that transformation and to be able to change your life permanently. Not just that New Year's resolution type change we're talking about, but literally three things that are going to allow you to make a massive upgrade in your life and we're calling this teaching old dogs new tricks right because it's always possible so why don't you just share what you were, were talking about before this with well, me. I was just talking about you know we're hitting April and in January it's kind of the New Year's resolution season everyone jumps on the New Year's resolution season and by this time they've usually started to your motivations falling off and you're you're losing that 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 instinct, that want, that drive to get up and get going, but all of a sudden we roll around the corner, the weather starts getting nicer, and it is summer, and it's swimsuit season for all us ladies. I know the men might have that too, but it's swimsuit season, um, and I find we, we oftentimes think about things based on what season is, and that's what serves as our motivation, and the problem is, is that it's temporary. It's a season, and unless you change your core thinking, you're always going to fluctuate and, and end up falling off of the bandwagon because it's just a season. We need to start to do things that actually impact us long term rather than just suit the season that we're in. Yeah, totally, right? So, um, you know, we could, I could use tons of personal examples of, of trying to get transformation to take place, but ultimately, anytime we fall off track, anytime that we're not um, engaging at our full human potential, we literally know that's because we don't have a big enough belief, right? right. We don't have um, a big enough reason why. So we are always, always, always trying to anchor back to what's called our why. Why would we do something, right? Are we just transforming our health because we're going to Cuba on March break? Are we just transforming our health because we need to look good um, in a bathing suit for summer? Am I just... I'm putting on a smile because friends are coming over for dinner, but yet when they leave my house, I'm a grumpy guy, right? Like we, we need to look at the why. And I would tell you that some of the most honorable transformations that I've seen in people in the last say five to seven years haven't been on young people. These have been on people who are, you know, in their 60s, right. um, some of them in their 70s, and the transformations they make are absolutely mind-blowing. And when I look at what it is that led to it, it always comes back to the why, right? right? Why are you doing that? And so I would say to you that when your why gets big enough, right? The reason why you're doing something gets big enough, your actions will always, always, always follow that. You know, we right. have this rule where we say that actions always follow belief, right? If your belief isn't right, then your actions can't sustainably be right. Eventually your own personal motivation is gonna dwindle, you're not gonna become the person you wanna become. Okay. So your why has to be huge, right? So we've seen awesome transformations, right? In our inner circle, we have literally seen people who have tried to lose weight for their entire life, who haven't succeeded, and then all of a sudden they get this really big why, right? Unfortunately, sometimes it takes a crisis to hit the why, right? That's, so the yeah. crisis could be what? Uh, a health scare, yeah. you know, a big one that you're seeing right now is the growing trend of cancer. Um, but yeah, usually, usually I find them it's a big health scare yeah. that, that sets them off, whether that's personally or within the family. Yeah, and the other one that I see that's huge too is is a really big emotional scare Ooh, too, right? Good. So right. let's say, for example, um, like honestly, right? Like how many times have you tried to change me? In a small in a small sense no you're not change me but try to get me to change some aspect of my life and I just brush it off I brush it off I brush it off but then when that reason becomes big enough right like so let's just say I come home and Amy's literally saying like I can't do this anymore this can't continue this way we need to make a change we need to navigate in a new direction whatever it is now she's got my attention because the why is big enough, right? right? The big why is maybe she's super upset. And that can go both ways, right? Like there's mm -hmm. times where I'll literally be like, we can't keep going this way. This has got to change. And then finally, the why is big enough that we have to change, right? So, you know, people that we know have, have been on the brink of losing their family and all of a sudden they're able to transform the person that they are. Their actions are completely different. They're engaging completely different as a spouse, as a parent all these different things, but it's because the why came so big, right? Yeah. And so what we wanna do is we wanna to get to making transformation without having to be in crisis. This is the problem. Most people make the most transformative decisions in their life 
when they're in the midst of a crisis, right? right? So most people make their first major health decision. Most major health transformations occur when people get absolutely devastating news in a doctor's office. Yeah. You've got heart disease, you have to quit smoking, you have to quit eating that way, you have to make that change. You've got cancer, you have to make these changes, right? right. Really what should have superseded that is people having a sense of purpose about who they are, how important their life is, and then being able to make that transformation without the crisis. Absolutely. If you want to be here in the future, and people always talk about, oh, I want to travel, I want to do this, I want to be able to ski with my kids. So if that's something, your goal, you have a goal for the future, you need now to put yourself on that that path, that transformative path that allows you to meet that goal later on. And unfortunately, we usually have the two paths parallel and never ever meeting up because we're, we haven't hit that crisis that sends us over to that path. You know, we need to make those changes before it becomes a crisis. Yeah, so, so tip number one is get your why, but I'll tell you this, when you're trying to figure out your why, your why is always connected to your purpose, right? Yes. So you have to know what your purpose is. Maybe your purpose is to be you know, a mom, maybe your purpose is you're a doctor, maybe your purpose is that you know, you're a school teacher, right? If, you, if one of your purposes is to be an amazing school teacher, what happens if you have garbage health and you can't get out of bed and you're you know, going through surgeries and you're, you're laid up and you don't have the energy to go in there and navigate a class classroom of 30 unruly kids, right? What, how are you able to really be impactful as a school teacher if that's the state of your health, right? right? Don't wait for that crisis to understand that it's important to take care of your health before you get there because it's connected to your purpose, right? If I don't have enough energy to get through the day with thousands of patients, thanks for the thumbs up guys, <laughs> hearts, likes, shares, we love it. So if I don't have enough energy to get through the day with hundreds of patients and then come home and still have enough energy to be a good husband and a good father, then it's done, right? So part of me eating great, part of me getting a good sleep, part of me you know, doing morning routines and rituals, that has to do with the purpose. I didn't wait for a crisis. I didn't wait for Amy to come and say, you know, our family's done, we're imploding, or my office to fail, or, or you know, my kids to be like, you're a junk dad, hmm. right? The, the why is always connected to the purpose. The second thing that you need is you need to start to get around people who have a life that has some degrees or some aspects of what you would love to see, right? So for example, this is called mentorship and it's really, really key in step two, which is called the how. So there's right. one thing to have the why, it's mm -hmm. the next thing to know how. So if you wanna be healthy, right, start to hang around healthy people, start to watch their Facebook stuff, start to watch these things so that you can learn the how behind it because you know it's, it's just, it's one thing to say I wanna be healthy, I wanna be, prosperous, I want to be wealthy, I want to go to church, I want to do those things. It's another thing to know how it actually happens, yeah. right? We are in the age of knowledge yeah. and it is everywhere. You can follow blogs, Instagram feeds, Facebook feeds, Facebook Live. Yeah. There is a, an abundance of information out there ready for you to just grab hold of it. Um, one of the biggest thing I think that holds us back from there is we may figure out our why, but then we become we start to uh, develop all these excuses, the sure. reasons that we shouldn't, or you know, uh, it's it's too hard, or you know, I don't like that kind of food. It doesn't taste good. And I think what we need to always reflect upon is why, what is holding us back from being able to accomplish our goal, like meet to, to accomplish our why. And that's the, that's the how. You need to get over those to start to be able to take those steps, grab the knowledge and implement it in your life. It doesn't have to, uh, you don't have to agree with all of it. You don't have to grab hold of all of it, but you need to start at least with something that puts you on the path to accomplishing your why. And we all have excuses. I mean, how many times have you said, oh, I'm too busy, I'm too tired at eight o'clock at night after I put everybody to bed to do it. I get it, I've been there, I listen to myself sometimes and I say, I just listed off a hundred different excuses that everybody else has. That's the same. Totally. And it is, yeah. it's about realizing, go ahead, stare yourself in the mirror, give yourself all the excuses you want and go get, whatever it is, your gym clothes, or your, you go into the kitchen and do whatever it is that you need to accomplish to help you meet your goal, your why, and start doing it. Because excuses are always gonna be there. We just have to decide that we're gonna rise above that and not wait for the crisis, not wait for the mountain to be thrown in front of us, and decide we'd rather walk over a hill than a mountain. We'd rather walk over just a regular life before the health crisis of the mountain hits, and then we have, we have a big steep climb. Sure. 
right? And then that brings us to point number three. Point number three is literally take action, right? Mm -hmm. You gotta hustle, you gotta go after it, you gotta take action. It's way easier to shut it down and just veg on the couch at night. It's easier to sleep in and hit the snooze bar. It's easier to skip the workout. All these things that require transformation, guys, let's face it, change is actually gonna require more effort than staying the same. This is what keeps so many people trapped in areas that they don't wanna be in in their life, right. is they literally don't want to um, undergo the, the effort that it takes to make the transformation. You gotta get active, you gotta take action. If you keep doing the same thing, nothing's gonna change. So don't sit there and become like my friend Ryan always says, an ask hole, right? An A-S-K hole. Somebody who just asks all these questions but never takes action. Your job is to take action and immediately, don't worry about the aim being perfect. Don't worry about having the perfect recipe. Don't worry about having the perfect routine. Don't worry about having the perfect strategy. Just start taking action. That itself is motivational. When you start to see like, oh wow, I worked out today. Maybe I didn't eat great, but I worked out today. That's cool. Then you can start to put in the next step, the next action step and keep going forward. So the big thing here is literally, Think about your purpose and your why to your life. What is, what? why are you here, right? Like what's the purpose, you know? Like if somebody gave me, you know, a check for $500 million right now, I, my life wouldn't change much. I would still be a husband and a dad and a chiropractor and, and that would keep going forward. That's my purpose, right? right. So my why is connected to that. Then I wanna know how, which is super easy nowadays in the information age, and then number three is just start taking action immediately today to transform your life, to upgrade your life to your full potential. You gotta take action every single day. Mm -hmm. Don't sit there and gripe about how what you don't like and this and that and make excuses and say, oh, it must be easy for them and blah, blah, blah. Every single person who accomplishes amazing things with their life, right, always does that by taking action. Yeah. The thing you need to remember is we are creatures of comfort, yeah. right? And so it becomes very easy for us just to shrink back into that place of comfort. And we have to continually push ourselves out of that, into those places of fear sometimes, into places that cause us a little bit of risk. And um, we just had a question come up there about, you know, be, how, do you, how do you stick to something even though your why becomes big enough? When your why is big enough, it will automatically propel you. But it, it is hard because we want to fall back into those places of comfort. And that's where it becomes surround yourself around pe with people that are going to support you in your growth. Hold you accountable. Accountable is huge. I have um, great people that I have that I've, I've been working out with. And my fitness, I'm hitting some goals that I actually have. And it's, and it's not because me it's because I don't want to miss because I know they're counting on me and they push me just a little bit further and that's the difference it's easy just to go and and I'll trust me I worked out at home and get on that stair climber and you do 10 minutes and you break a little sweat and then oh you know I'm, I'm good I'm gonna go do some laundry whereas you have people that keep you accountable it makes a difference it can be across your entire life find good people that can keep you accountable and that will support you and and listen to you so that you can continue to plug your way towards accomplishing your why yeah like listen guys let's face it you were put on this earth for a purpose right you're not here by accident you were here for a purpose your life matters you are important you have to go out and become the best you you can possibly be because there are people who are counting on it your kids, your grandkids, your patients, your clients, the students you teach, all these people are counting on you being the best version of you you can. And you can always be making an upgrade. Discover your why, work through the how, and take action starting today. That's the job. Go out there and take massive action to become the person that God put you on this earth to be and the best version of it possible. Enjoy your life. If you get off track, get back on track. It's always a new, fresh day to go out there and be the best you you can be. We love you guys. Have a great day. Anything else from you? No, have a great weekend. And we love comments and questions. If you've got any, you know, send them out there to us. We're happy to respond. So enjoy. I hope you guys are able to just plug away at that why and yeah. Yeah, and share this, you guys. There's so many people who need this stuff. They, they get this into their, uh, their feed and it makes a huge difference. We ran into people all week long, everywhere we went. They're like, aren't you guys the people from those videos, right? And some of them, I mean, we don't even know some of these people and it's impacting and changing their lives. So share this stuff, get it out to all your friends. 
This is the kind of thing that isn't easy, but it makes this world and these people be better and better. And we're on that journey with you guys. Right. Love you. We'll see you soon. Bye.